Okay, here are some problems from section 2.4 homework. Problem number one says the cost of millions of dollars for the federal government to seize P percent of a certain illegal drug as it enters a country is C of P is equal to 45P over 100 minus P. And then it says find the cost of seizing 45 percent. Okay, so it says here use 45, not, 0.40, uh, not 0.45. So seizing 45%, so we're putting 45 in for the P right there. Uh, you could do that by hand if you wanted to. Take 45 times 45 divided by the quantity 100 minus 45, and that will give you the cost in units of millions of dollars. This uh, function right here is called a rational function because there's a variable in the denominator, and you can do these on the Excel sheet by using the rational sheet. Go to the rational sheet. This can handle up to a cubic over a cubic, so put in your coefficients for the numerator, which only has a linear coefficient of 45, and the linear coefficient is your C1, so put that in for C1, 45, and then your denominator over here, your C2, the uh, coefficient, linear coefficient on the bottom, is negative 1 because this is minus 1P, so your C2 is negative 1, and your constant at the end is 100, because that 100 right here. Put those in there, and after you put those in, we're given that there's a what uh, a uh, uh, call, we want to get the cost of seizing 45 percent. So uh, put the 45. Sorry, not here. Don't put it here. Put it over here. Put in the 45, and we get that the cost is 36.818 million dollars. Then Part B says, what percentage of illegal drugs would be removed if $36 million were uh, allocated? Well, now it's telling you the cost, $36 million, That's a Y value. So put the 36 in for uh, Y. And um, what do we get? We'll put 36 in here. And we get 44.444% that would be seized. And that makes sense here because when we put in the 45 up here, we got a little bit more than uh, 36, and when we put in a number here a little bit less than 36, we get a number, uh, sorry, a number less than what the, y, uh, what the y answer was over there, like 36 here, we get a number less than the 45 over there. So these are, these seem reasonable. Uh, just need to always make sure you think about it, what value goes in for x and y. C says find the cost of ceasing 75%, so you just put 75 in there for y. Uh, D, uh, sorry, for X, put the 75 in there for X. D, what percentage of illegal drugs would be removed if 150 million were available? Well, that's giving you the cost, 150 million, so you just put 150 in here, because it's in units of millions of dollars, so that 76% could be seized. And then these, just put these in, 90, 95, 99, and 99.9, um, uh, in for the P. Okay, like 99.9 .9 to seize 99.9% .9 of illegal drugs, uh, you would have to put over here for the X, that's the percentage on this one, 99.9, .9, and you get, uh, here's your cost in units of millions of dollars, so it would actually be $44,955,000,000. So uh, uh, that's a lot of money that it would cost. So uh, now I says, according to this model, would it be possible to, to seize 100% of the drugs? Well, percent is an X value, so put 100 in for X, and you get this, infinity. So it costs an infinite amount of money, and since you don't have an infinite money, there's not an infinite, you can't reach infinity, therefore you can't uh, reach 100% of e all illegal drugs seized. So no, it's impossible. And then it says, uh, does the function have a vertical asymptote? If so, what is its location? Well, you can find the vertical asymptote by setting the denominator equal to zero. If you set 100 minus p equal to zero, you would add p to both sides, and you get 100 equals p. So in other words, there's a vertical asymptote at 100. And we would get that also on the Excel sheet uh, by just clicking right here to find the vertical asymptotes and uh, all that sort of stuff right here. So there is a vertical asymptote of 100. And what does uh, that mean on this problem? Well, that's why you can't seize 100% of the drugs, because when you put 100 in here for P, you get division by 0, which is a uh, vertical asymptote. And then finding your verti vertical as asymptote uh, algebraically, that's where you do the 100 minus P and set it equal to 0, set your denominator equal to 0. Uh, what is the meaning of the vertical asymptote? Well, it means as the percentage of illegal drugs approaches 100%, your cost is approaching infinity. And um, 
you can see a little bit here on the graph. As you get closer and closer to 100, the cost is going up. Here it is at 90 percent. The cost is only 400 million dollars or so. But if we looked at this graph even closer to 100, let's go to 99.99 for example. We see that it goes extremely high. Now it's not 400 million dollars. It's like 50,000 million dollars. That's you know a ridiculous amount of money and the graph looks like it's going straight up here because we can't see the little values down in here so the closer it gets to 100 the, the closer the y values the well the y values are approaching infinity as the x's get closer to 100 so that's what that means and um, does this function have a a uh, horizontal asymptote part m well the horizontal asymptote is found algebraically uh, by checking the powers of the numerator and denominator. The power of this is, numerator is 1, the power of denominator is 1, and when the powers are the same, you take the leading coefficients and divide. 45 divided by negative 1 is negative 45, so there's a horizontal asymptote at negative 45. That's also found here automatically. y equals negative 45, that's your... If you look at this graph over, uh, let's go from like negative uh, 1,000 to 1,000, this graph is going to level off at about negative 45. It may pass it here in the middle, but in the long run, it's leveling off right here at negative 45 at a height. So that's what that means. Now, there's no real meaning to uh, the uh, uh, horizontal asymptote. It says, explain why the horizontal asymptote does not make sense on this problem. Well the cost cannot be negative so that doesn't make any sense so that's problem number uh, one problem number two is very similar just a different equation problem number three uh, just remember to distribute this eight across when you take this eight across you get 32 plus 40 t then you would put in your uh, coefficients and uh, let's go ahead and do this problem taking the eight across we get 40 t plus 32 okay so I'll put it in uh, that order right there in standard form, so that be in the um, numerator. The constant, uh, sorry, the linear coefficient is 40, and then we have a 32 for the constant. And down here in the denominator, we have a linear coefficient of 0.03 and a constant of 1. And uh, now let's see what it's asking for. N is the number of uh, deer, and uh, T is the uh, number of years. It says find the population when t is 10, 0, and all n gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Well, let's do some of these. This is putting in different values for x here. So, like, here's what the population is. Okay, here's 10 years, 300, 100 years. Here's 1,000 years. And you see it's not going up nearly <laughs> steep at all. Here's 10,000 years. See, it's hardly going up now, 1329. If we go out uh, 100,000 years, it's really leveling off. Let's go a million years. So it's leveling off to about 1333. And in fact, that's what the horizontal asymptote is here. 1,333, 0.3333. So that's the horizontal asymptote. That's the limiting size of the herd, too. So what's the limiting size of the herd? It levels off to 1,333. Uh, find the horizontal asymptote algebraically. Well, that's where you look at your leading coefficients. When you take this 8 through, the leading coefficient up here is 40. The leading coefficient down here is 0 0.03. And if you take 40 divided by 0 0.03, uh, you get 1333. Now, you only do that division if the powers are the same. The power on the top is to the first power. The power on the bottom is the first power. And when the powers are the same, you just divide your uh, leading coefficient. So that's 40 divided by 0 0.03, or 1333. Um, 4 is the uh, same sort of thing. Let's go to 6. 6 says that the average cost of producing x units of a product is given by this equation right here. Uh, you get the average by taking the uh, total number, uh, the, the total cost divided by the total number is really what you're doing here on this. But anyway, that's what uh, the equation is. We would put these uh, coefficients into a rational sheet. Let's do that a second. So the leading coefficient on that equation is uh, 1. Let's move this out of the way here. So right here, that's a 1, then 100,000. I think that's it right there. And then um, 
your coefficient on the bottom, your linear coefficient is 3 and there's no constant. So once you get those in there, they can, then we can figure out uh, this problem, like for example, find the average cost for 1,000, 10,000, 100,000 units. So uh, let's do a few of these, like here's uh, 10,000 units, the average cost is 0.667, how about 100,000? That would be 0.3667, so uh, is it coming down to zero? Well, let's put in a, even a bigger number, uh, let's see, was that a million? I think so, there's a million, 0.33, let's go even a bigger number, and see, we're leveling off to about 0.3 repeating, so about a third, and we can see that's the horizontal asymptote over here, too, is one-third. So uh, uh, is the average cost leveling off? Yes. If so, what's leveling off to? 0.3333, one-third. Find the horizontal asymptote algebraically. Again, both of these things are to the first power. And when, they, when they're both to the same power, just divide the leading coefficients. One divided by three is one-third. Um, seven, you would just need to simplify this one to answer any questions. Take the point nine across and then combine like terms. Take this point nine across and combine like terms and you can answer everything. Um, even uh, the horizontal asymptote, let's do that. The horizontal asymptote, see, both are to the first power. So it's just going to be that you divide the leading coefficients. And that's basically going to be point nine divided by point nine, which is one. So uh, uh, that's all there is to that one there.